The joy of animals every single day. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. It's 8 o'clock at night. I didn't sleep at all. Well, I slept at about noon, so I woke up in the middle of the night, basically. So we're gonna trek through the night, and uh, I'm gonna try and get home, you know, before uh, midnight or 3 a.m. or whenever the hell I get home. I know it's still a pretty long run from the Spiffos, but at least uh, seeing that Spiffos and Bargain Clothes lets me know that I'm on the right track. Our rescue mission is almost completed! Hooray! Huzzah! Everyone will enjoy the tea party! It's Dayton's tea party. Who's coming? There's a Triceratops. Actually, there's two of them. Then there's a T-Rex and a Stegosaurus, but they're not all dinosaurs. No, they're not. There's a rabbit and an octopus and a monkey and a hippo. So they're all mammals except for the octopus. And they're all reptiles except for the mammals. Yeah. <laughs> I heard a really, uh, interesting bit of information. There was this documentary and it was basically theorizing that if uh, mammals hadn't taken over after dinosaurs, then it would have been cephalopods. And they had like artist renderings of fucking cephalopods swinging through trees and all this kinds of crazy stuff, which is pretty believable, you know? Octopus? Octopi? <laughs> Octopuses, they're smart as shit, man. They imitate other creatures and stuff like that. I saw this octopus, like, transform into a lionfish. They are the real transformers, not just of the sea. They can, they can, like, imitate just about anything. If they were on land, they could probably imitate a dog, you know? Then you'd be like, oh, look at that cute little dog, and you'd go to pet it, and an octopus's sucker tentacle would shoot out and grab your hand, and a uh, hentai would ensue. Actually, he'd probably just eat your hand. <laughs> But who knows? Maybe you, you fuck that octopus with the, the stump of your hand, if you want. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just spitballing here. If you're into that, you could do that. If you're not into that, then you know, you don't have to do that. You probably can't even do that because, you know, it's like an octopus or something. I'm gonna eat this MRE because I'm hungry now. Hungry now. Get my applesauce. Uh. It was supposed to be like an apple pie, but I lost the heat pack for this MRE. I used it in, in the in the first part where I ate it, where I ate some spaghetti. So now I gotta just mash up the, the cold apple pie and pretend it's applesauce. Which, really, if you mash up a pie, it's still a winner, you know? Why is pie so much better than cake? Why do we have cake for everything? I think we should have pies. Well, pies are a lot harder to make, for one. You gotta have, like, some fruits things like this. That's just crazy. Where are you gonna get fruits from? What, do they just grow on trees? <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> but, you know, flour, wheat grows out of the ground. And then much more, uh, much more quantity. You gotta wait years for a fucking fruit tree, man. You're like, oh, I planted this apple tree. Well, you can enjoy some apples in about ten years. <laughs> You think I got 10 years to wait around for some fucking apples? Yeah, I guess I do. I guess I do. I'll be uh, 40 by the time I get to enjoy those apples. But you know what? I think that'll make them taste even sweeter. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's really interesting. You can grow zucchinis and okra and all this crap. But uh, as soon as you try and get some delicious fruits... There's no sweet stuff that grows in the ground. You gotta wait years for the sweet stuff. There are a lot of fucking zombies out here. We'll just keep going. We'll just keep moving. Everything's fine. Everything's awesome. Don't worry about me. I, I think we're somewhere close now. Let's see if I can find a landmark. A little landmark that might remind me of where we are. Pizza World. Hmm... Zippy Market. Uh, I do remember Pizza World, but like I said, everything's a fucking chain. How are you supposed to know where you where you've been, where you come from, where you go? That's just madness. If if the Zombocalypse happens, you're gonna be running down the street and you're gonna be like, oh, there's the McDonald's. Oh wait, we fucking passed the McDonald's three blocks ago. 
Is that the same McDonald's? No, it's not. Okay. We gotta go check this McDonald's. And then you go in there, and somebody already set up a fucking base or something, and then you get you get shot over some fucking french fries. That's how it goes. This is real life. It's hard out here, kids. Here's like a, a gated community or something like that. Maybe I should have a little poke around in there, hmm? Oh? Oh? Yeah. I've been here before. We're really close to my house now. And it's not even midnight yet. Hell yeah. We're gonna have a party. And then after the party, it's the after party. Because obviously you didn't drink enough, right? You can't just go home after three drinks and be like, we had a nice time. You gotta go throw up somewhere, right? Right? Degenerate. <laughs> Oh, but I remember those days. You know, everybody has that, that wild streak. When you're a teenager, you're like, Oh, I'm just going to go crazy. I know everything about how life works. Bitch, I'm 30. I still don't know how life works. <laughs> I went through that phase where I thought I knew how life works. And you know what? I don't. I don't. Found out real quick. I don't. All right. I'm so excited to get this fucking tea party on the road. I think I tried to burn that house down on the corner. But, uh, it didn't work. <laughs> Oopsie doops. Is it raining again? Is it just my eyes? And my beard's falling off again. How did this happen? You guys, you guys. Not cool, okay, you guys? I need my beard. It keeps my face warm. And it hides my chin. <laughs> you know, um... Leafy should grow a beard. That would be a really good idea. Then nobody could make fun of his weak chin, you know? I don't know if anybody still watches Leafy videos. God, that that's that's a throwback. Then again, uh, yeah. <laughs> More people are watching his videos than mine, so he must be doing something right. I'm not gonna talk too much shit, I do suppose. Let's turn this light on, see if we can use this for the first time. For the first time in forever There'll be music There'll be love Oh god This is dead Dead battery That's not good Do I have another battery? Aww Why didn't I pick up another battery? When we were out exploring the world Damn it Alright This one still has a fresh battery or, uh, relatively. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's a good one. So I'm gonna put a, some batteries in there. And then we gotta turn this one on. Oh, and it lights up the tree over here. That's nice. That's nice, you guys. That's pretty cool, huh? And there you go. There's Mr. Triceratops. He's brought the tea. And you know who brought the crumpets? Mr. T-Rex, nobody expected that shit, right? Right? And then, uh, the Stegosaurus wants to sit next to the Triceratops because, uh, they're herbivores. They're gonna eat some of these plants. They're all friends. I should probably put something, uh, between the T-Rex. I don't, I don't trust you over here, T-Rex. You gotta come over this way. You gotta sit next to the other mammal herbivores. Like the monkey, I think he's fast enough to get away from the T-Rex, so we'll put that right there. Look at how happy that little monkey is! Oh, that's cute! And then the rabbit, he's definitely fast enough to get away from the T-Rex, so we gotta put him right here. Very nice, very nice! Everything's working out nice! Hippo, you guys can sit together. All of these herbivores over here. Oh, it's a purple hippo! Wah! And then, uh, we got another Triceratops, so I'll put him over here, so we won't get the two confused. There you go. Double Triceratops action. And then the mighty Mr. Octopus is gonna sit at the head of the table, because he's, uh, he would be ruling the planet if it weren't for us pesky mammals. There you go. Mr. Octopus, he looks so sad. I put you at the head of the table, dude. Don't look that way. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Um, I'd like to build a table for them. I think that would be quite a nice thing. 
But yeah, I need to drop some shit off first. Uh, lights out, guys. Okay, everybody, sleepy sleep. Look at how fun. Oh, I'm glad I didn't just leave them in the woods. I'm glad I brought them to my house so I can be reminded of uh, the joy, the joy of animals every single day. Oh my God, there's a tree growing in my house. I must not have been here in quite some time. Hmm, could I get through this? Climb through, see how my zucchini's doing? Oh god. Are they all dead? Did I just not plant any? Oh man. Stunted rotten zucchini. Oh fart. Shit. Poop. They died. They died while I was on the road! Why does everything I love die? <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry, zucchinis. I just wanted to have an adventure. Oh, oh well. Shit happens. We got a lot of space for, for more zucchinis. I'm gonna go ahead and chop this fucking tree down in my house. That sounds like... It sounds like I'm hitting the wall, doesn't it? <laughs> Here, hit the tree, please. Hit the tree. Am I just gonna let this tree grow in my house? God damn. I guess I am. I'm scared of knocking the wall down. I don't want to make more work for myself. And you know what? It's kind of nice to have a tree growing in the house. You got some natural foliage. You got some fresh oxygen. Uh just coming in the house all the time, you know? That's pretty nice. Santa's gonna come by, he's gonna be like, oh, the tree's right here. And I'm like, yeah, Santa, it's been here all year, bro. We've been waiting for you, dude. Uh, let's fill up the shelf just a little bit. Some rope, and I think that's gonna just about pack it. Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. Okay. Now this one, you just want to get all these shelves filled up. Some honey. Oh, jarred apples. I was talking about that. You don't have to wait 10 years for these apples. They come in their own convenient packaging. And I'm not talking about the apple skin. I'm talking about the, the glass that I, I found it in. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. A box of MREs. We've got three boxes of MREs. We are not going to starve. No, sir. Everything's going awesome. There's apple cider and an adult magazine. Yeah, we're gonna put these right together. So you drink some cider and you, you read some magazines. Oh, we can't put them in this one. It's all full up. God damn. I've got just so much stuff happening. So much stuff happening in this house. Uh, magazine, cider. I don't need these carrot seeds at the moment. First aid for beginners. I probably should read this. So I will. Why not? Um, bunch of bullets and shit like that. Which my, oh, I brought a doll. Sweet. I'll make room at the table for the doll. Yeah, I should have brought some, uh, some of these bullets back to my my restaurant base where all the guns are that would make good sense but for some reason they're here so they're here now whatever we'll do the fucking thing uh s shotgun shells and twine i keep my smoke bomb and saw we'll put six pack of pop in there hell yeah we could drink some warm soda anybody want some warm soda nobody just me Okay then, more for me. Uh, we got some vitamins, I'll take some vitamins. That reduces my tiredness. Hmm, good to know. Even though it told me right on the fucking package. <laughs> oh well, I want to, uh, I want to make a fucking table before we go, go Betty Bye, because these, these dolls deserve some some tea. And I'll keep an eye out for a tea kettle. We can go all, all the way with this fucking thing. Um, let's see, octopus. I need you to move for just a minute. 
human sits at the head of the table. The human! Actually, we could make it like this. We go down here, just a little bit. You sit next to the monkey? You wanna sit next to the monkey? Yeah, she's having a good time next to the monkey. Alright. And then I get this one. This one here. You, you're kinda sitting in the, in the Triceratops' lap. Here. Just a little bit forward. Nice. That's looking pretty good if I do say so myself. And I do. Why does that Stegosaurus look so fucked up? He's supposed to be on four feet. I don't understand what's happening. I'm gonna chop this tree down. There. That's the tree sound. There was like a thud thud that was obviously not the tree sound. So I'm glad that I didn't keep chopping away with an axe in my house in the dark. Breaking all the shit that I've worked so hard to construct for myself. It's just not good. It's just so not good. We probably need some nails. What else I need for for a table? Um, hammer. That's a good idea. Hammer's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Now we got furniture, bookcase, table. We need small table or large table. Hmm. I don't want to uh, crush my my kids. Yeah. Okay. Large table is too large. You guys will get a small table. It'd be grateful you get any table at all, alright? Oh, It doesn't quite fit. Okay. Sorry guys, you gotta come with me. Just for a minute. I'll pick you up. I'll move you. And then uh, we're, we're gonna figure this all out. We're gonna figure all this out. Okay? This is how it goes. What am I missing? Planks. Duh. Okay, grab up the planks. How many do I need for that small table there? I need five planks. Well, that is almost all of them, isn't it? It took a whole tree to make a small table. That's just madness. Okay, grab one more. Do what I say. Do it. Do what I say. I don't have to worry about being drowsy. There ain't no zombies out here. This is my house. I kept my house nice and clear of the zombie scourge. Ah. And that is a pretty good table, if I do say so myself. I've constructed it with love and care and, uh, etc., etc. <laughs> I can't seem to get this Triceratops. Okay, there we go. Actually, he's probably okay there, right? You can, you can see his head poking out. That's, that's okay. We'll put the hippo there. I think everybody's close enough to the table, right? Y'all good? Are you sure? There we go. And then, uh, Triceratops here. An octopus. You're gonna go here, the other head of the table. Human on one side, octopus on the other. Bet you never saw that shit coming. Look at that! I'm so proud! Tea party commence! Da 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 da! Tea party time! Tea party time! Everybody loves their tea party time! Okay, I gotta go to bed now. I gotta go to bed now before I pass out or some shit like that. We made it home. Uh, that is the most importantly. And I made a, a, a little tea party for all my, all my woodland friends. You know, except a lot of them don't live in the woods. That's fine. Nobody's keeping track of where they live. I know where they live. They live with me now! They're having a tea party out front. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna do all the work while they just fucking sit there. Sit there on their fat, mammalian, reptilian, octocephalus pod. Cephalopod? Yeah, cephalopod asses. Do cephalopods have asses? I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some research on that. <laughs> Anyways, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Next episode will probably be a little short because I will end up waking up in the afternoon, but uh, I guess that's just fine. We'll find something to do. We'll find some more adventures. Uh, I really want to get a tea kettle and some plates and, and make it make it a real tea party. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> We're taking care of the important stuff. 
<laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one, friends. I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy, and join us for the next time. Until then, friends. Bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.